While 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 is still trying to find its way through the chaos and drama, some cast members have made things interesting for fans online. Episode 4 of last week's 90 Day Fiancé finally saw Patrick Mendes make his big reality TV debut with his Brazilian partner, Ties. Given that Patrick has a controversial past and a fresh storyline with his brother John, who could potentially threaten his relationship, Fans are eager to know how he and Ty's fare on 90 Day Fiancé. Biniam Shebra and Ariella Weinberg are entangled in their share of scandals as well, with Biniam's sister Mimi now claiming the show is racist and fake. In a nutshell, 90 Day Fiancé Episode 9, Pasta La Vista, focused on the international cast members adjusting to their new life in America and Biniam Jet setting to New Jersey with baby Avi and Ariella. Ty's is already worried about dealing with Patrick's brother once she becomes their roommate in Texas and Carabas has been slammed by fans for refusing to give Guillermo Mojo a computer. Shay Ada, who's settled in Bilal's real home, got to meet his family, including Bilal's mom, sister, and brother, who grilled her about her future plans with his brother. Emily and Kobe shared unnecessary intimate details after their first night together before heading out to her family home to meet baby Coben. Fans' hearts melting were for Kobe, who cried before meeting his son for the first time, while Emily was blasted for choosing her physical needs over Kobe finally meeting their son. The episode got its interesting title from Miona taking her first American grocery trip with Jibri, discovering string cheese, and making a pre-made pasta dish for Jibri's parents, including his mom. Fans found out why Jibri's friend David, or his parents, did not like Miona or her pasta. The episode also showed the couple will likely permanently be living in South Dakota. Bilal's prank on Shay Ada has turned him into the villain of 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 since Episode 1. However, according to the real estate investor, it was Shay Ada who tricked Bilal first. When Bilal went to Trinidad and Tobago, Shay Ada had him stay in a high crime area. Bilal's prank was actually a continuing one that Shay Ada had started by making him live seven days in an Airbnb, where he felt unsafe. There was barbed wire fencing around the premise, which made Bilal feel even more uncomfortable. However, Shay Ada laughed about the situation. Bilal taking Shay Ada to his neglected childhood home was just him harmlessly trying to get back at Shay Ada. Fans will remember Jibri's pink trousers ripping on 90 Day Fiancé when he went to pick up Miona from the airport. Now that Jibri has found fame on 90 Day Fiancé, he wanted to make a quick buck off the torn pants. 90 Day Fiancé newbie Jibri announced that he was auctioning off his ripped pants and turning them into an NFT called Bubble Booming Bikini Bottoms. Jibri revealed that even if his earnings are $10 or a million, it would be contributing to his solo music career. However, fans who are already tired of newer cast members, who are on the show with fake storylines to promote themselves, believe Jibri's money-making moves prove he's a clout chaser. With episode 4 of 90 Day Fiancé featuring Emily and Kobe in the bedroom in a suggestive scene, fans wondered why TLC is always showing these inappropriate scenes. The scene opened with Kobe in his underwear and a possibly topless Emily under the sheets as they reminisced about the night before. Given that Kobe and Emily were seeing each other after two years of being in a long-distance relationship, things did get hot and heavy. However, this should have happened off-camera. Viewers may have also seen Emily's lingerie coming off as she headed with Kobe into the shower. Fans have earlier protested a similar scene between Caleb Greenwood and Alina Koshevnikova on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days that was all about the two undressing, making loud and clear noises long after the lights turned off. Dot.